Well, good morning, everyone. How are you today? Are you good? It's very good to see you and to have you all here uh, together. We are going to just spend a few minutes to try to remember a few things that we have been talking about, and I am going to show you other things, and I am going to invite you to do some other things. Are we ready? Yes? Do you pay taxes? No. No? <laughs> no? Do your parents pay taxes? Don't answer me. Yes. Okay. <laughs> good, 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 good. It's good. Okay. Well, I do pay, pay, pay taxes too. But let me, before we go to the taxes thing, Pastor Jenna was teaching us a few Sundays, remember? She was talking about generosity, and she was te teaching you also about some financial advisors and some other things. Well, but she was actually reminding us something important. Remember that she brought plates here with us, and she was teaching us about giving? And she was asking us, what can you give to God? Do you remember a few things that you people said, some of you said that day? What can we give to God? What can you give to God? Love? What else, Asher? All the everything of the food, yeah. Worship, right? And what, Angelica? Hmm? Christmas? Okay. Well, we can give presents to God too, but one of you, one of you said that you can give. Hmm? I cannot hear you. Respect. Respect, that's what you said. Thank you. So it's true. And one of the things that you said is that you can give friendship. Well, today, Jesus is talking about giving to God. So I will ask... Uh, Jason, to give me the back that is behind you, our young worshippers' message. And I am going to remind you the story that Mark just read for us. There was, ha has anybody asked you some tricky questions sometimes? What is the reason for tricky questions? Why do people ask tricky questions? To scare people, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's when, we, when people ask tricky questions. Well, some people came to Jesus, and I will ask to the, our tech team to show us the first slide that we have here for you. And you can look at the screen on the back of you or on the other TV is behind me. And you can see Jesus is talking to two people. The two people came to Jesus with tricky questions, and they wanted to get Jesus into trouble. And then say, should we pay taxes? Should we pay taxes, as I was asking you earlier? And Jesus said, well, first, I, before I answer you, I'm going to ask you to bring me a coin. Do you have a coin? Do you have a coin that you can show me? No? I show you one coin. All right. It's a, I had it in my wallet, but it's too big for my wallet. So this coin, as you can see, these are the coins that they were used at that time. And Jesus said, who is here on the picture? Do you see who, the, who is in the picture? Who is that? Is it Jesus? No. Caesar. That's right. Caesar is here. And this was the emperor, like a king, a bigger than a king. And Jesus says, well, if you have coins like this, who can you give these coins to? Who is in the picture here? Caesar. So he says, give to this person what belongs to this person. So give the coins and give to God what is God's. Do you know what belongs to God? Coins. Hmm? Money, and coins. Money and coins and what else? Yeah. Food. Food, everything. All of us belong to God, to, to God in Jesus. So Jesus says, you need to give God what is God's. And that means you and I and me, and everyone who is here who belong to God, we have Jesus in us. You may not see it, but many of you, most of you who are here, have a mark on your forehead. When you were baptized, you were marked with a cross here. And that is a reminder that we belong to Jesus. So I would like to ask you with your finger to, ask, to put it on your head, and just to make a cross on your forehead and remember that you belong to Jesus, that you belong to God, that you are marked forever, and that nothing can separate you from God. And that is how you remember that we, got our, we give God ourselves. 
I'm going to, today you are going to go something different, okay? Two things that we are going to do is different. After this young worshipers message, you are going to what we call the Sunday school, and you will continue to talk about this story and also to play and to learn some other things. So do that. And later on in the service, you are going to help this congregation here remember that we are giving to God what belongs to God when we collect the offering. So some of you who are here, and good luck, we will need four of you in the back in the church and we will be you will be helping to collect the offering again remember that we passed the plates that pastor jenna introduced to us so four of you in the back will be helping today so i will see you in the back there before we collect the offering mary and kelly uh, is mary and kelly in the back can you see her see them raise your hand there yeah mary and kelly they will help you help us with that Okay, so let's get ready and you can go to, to, um, to your class. And I am going to, I, don't, I was going to give you this, but I don't have enough. So I will bring more next time that I see you or later in the service, okay? Let's pray. We thank you, God, because we belong to you. We thank you because we know that we have you in us. Help us through our friendship by giving you everything that we have, everything that we are to you in loving, in caring, and offering respect to you and to all people. Help us in this new Sunday school that we are going to do today. Help us to enjoy, to meet new friends, and also to learn about you. In the name of Jesus, we pray, and we said, Amen. Amen. All right, let's go and go to the Sunday school, and tell me later how it went, okay?